Good morning, guys. Welcome and nice to see all y'all. My name is Elizabeth. I'm your instructor. You're in a Pilates inspired fitness class and for props today, we're going to use dumbbells. So let's grab those dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use um, cans of food or little water bottles or even uh, nothing at all. And I'm actually going to start with nothing at all. So from here, guys, let's just come onto those tippy toes, lower one heel, bend an elbow, all 10 tippy toes and switch and switch and switch. Uh, this move is called Pilates prancing and we've got alternating biceps curls going on here. Now, uh, this simple move will give me the opportunity while your body is warming up to request of you to keep your workout with me today pain-free. So as always, that means comfortably uncomfortable is okay, but pain is not. Anytime you're feeling stabbing pain, shooting pain, joint pain, structural pain, anything like that, please stop what you're doing and do something different so those feelings go away. As you guys know, because I tell you all the time, my goal as an instructor is for every student to feel better after every class, and I need your help with that. So please take care of your sweet bodies and modify at any time or take a rest at any time. All right, we're breathing. Yeah, looking so good. I want to thank you guys for letting me join you in your living rooms today. Always, always nice to see my live students if you're with me on YouTube. Uh, I'm glad you found me. Thanks for dropping in. I know that there are a lot of uh, Pilates videos on YouTube, and a lot of them are amazing. So I really appreciate the fact that you're here with me today. All right, guys. Noticing if that body is warming up. I can feel my body warming up. I can even hear it in my voice a little bit. For three and two and one, come to center. Let's swing those arms from side to side. We'll revisit this move a few times in class. And I want you to begin to notice if it feels different. For two and one and come to center. All right, guys, from here, let's kick one leg out to the side, come back into that biceps curl, lower and switch and switch and continue. Yeah, super simple, just moving in a different plane of motion. Again, we are beginning to warm up that body. Uh-huh, yeah, looking good. If you squeeze those armpits closed, notice how uh, this becomes more challenging for the biceps. Uh-huh, that's an example of using your own muscle and your mind-body connection to make an exercise harder than it needs to be. Our body naturally wants to go to the path of least resistance, so we're overriding that with our mind-body connection, which is part of the uh, magic of Pilates. All right, for two and one, and come to center. We're going to do that again, adding on. However, if you wish, you can continue with the earlier version. If it feels all right for you guys, let's bend those knees, reaching that booty back in space. All right, and then in this, uh, in this position, we'll kick one leg to the side and switch and continue. Kind of feel like a skater. I've always been horrible at skating. <laughs> in the third grade, I remember it was all the, all the rage. Actually, I guess more like the seventh. No, third. Anyways, when I was a kid uh, to do the roller skating and I always was the one holding on to the wall. <laughs> um, yeah, so at any rate, we're keeping those knees behind the toes as we're going through this range of motion. And just as you're squeezing those armpits closed, like you have BO really bad and you're super embarrassed about it and you don't want anyone to know, begin to squeeze those booty cheeks and notice how you can make this harder for that backside. In other words, you can begin to feel those muscles working harder by that mind-body connection again. Yeah, breathing for three and two. And the next time you have a foot out, pause. All right, guys, maintaining the bend in the opposite knee, let's lift and lift and lift and continue. As we're doing this, just take that big static hold, squeezing those armpits closed. Woo, really feeling this a lot, sneaking up on me, sneaking up on you too. Yeah, I can see those faces. Woo, breathing for three and two. And one, let's come back to center. Are you still squeezing those armpits closed? Recommit to that. Let's stick the other leg out to the side and lift and tap. 
and lift and tap, squeezing those armpits closed, kind of like you're giving yourself a hug. Uh huh, looking good. And again, making sure that the uh, standing leg, those knees are behind the toes, or that knee is behind the toe, rather. Woo! Inner thigh, outer thigh, lots of work going on here for four and three, two and one, and come up to center. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that quite a bit. Yeah, okay, me too. All right, guys, and then let's reach those arms into goalposts and take a step apart with those feet. Those toes are externally rotated and then we'll bend the knees, sweep those forearms together and open and do it again and continue and breathe. So most of my students have uh, dumbbells, I believe uh, probably two or three pounds. Uh, I'm omitting them today, but if that feels good for you, uh, you're welcome to use them. All right, guys, yeah, looking so good. Okay, next time you're down, stay down. And you guessed it, let's lift one heel. Let's lift the other heel. Coming into that balance challenge and open and close and open and close. If your dumbbells are uh, heavy and this is bothering your shoulders, you can come into biceps curls, just keeping those dumbbells closer to the midline of the body. Woo, and breathe. Can you come higher onto those tippy toes? Increasing that balance challenge for two and one and pause with those arms open in goal pose. And then let's lower and lift, lower and lift. Taking a mid range of motion here. Woo, yeah. Can you lift those heels higher? And then as you lower, maybe lift one arm and the other arm and continue. Woo, kind of shaking going on over here. Breathing, you guys look amazing. Can you lift those heels higher? Woo, yeah. Inner thighs, feeling those sheaths of muscles that go around the thighs. Ah, yeah. Lifting those heels higher. I know, super long set. Breathing, <laughs> looking so good for four and three and two. Woo, and one. Come to center. Oh my, I know, I see those faces. I'm feeling it too. Swing those arms from side to side for two and one and come back to center. All right, guys, next dumbbells holding at the sides. We'll lift those heels. Let's come back into that Pilates prancing. And notice how the muscles feel different in this move that we spent time doing already. But after the work that we've just done, Notice how some of your muscles are a little fatigued and the experience of doing this particular move is a little different. Yeah, looking good for three and two and one and come back to center. All right, let's take a step apart with those feet again. Toes externally rotated. This time we'll reach those arms back behind and then we'll bend the elbows, come up to, sorry, Bend the knees, come up to standing and do it again. And continue. I, I want you to imagine that you're trying to reach back to that wall behind you, coming into a heart opening and also strengthening the muscles in your back area and the backs of your arms. We're also targeting the backs of the legs, particularly if you press that way into your heels. Uh huh. Maybe even lift, hovering those toes a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, of course, we're going to add on. Of course, you can continue with the earlier version. Wow, again, really feeling those quadriceps as well. Okay, next time you're down, stay down. Reaching those elbows super far back behind. Let's bend and straighten and bend and straighten and continue. I feel like you can't really see what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Breathing, coming into that triceps extension. And then as we straighten, we'll bend and lift and, and continue. Yeah, really, really pressing through those heels, really pressing those elbows back behind. Oh my gosh, I'm going to feel this tomorrow for three and two and one. Come up to standing. Good job. Nice work, guys. 
Next, arms in goal post. When we in tabletop, arms overhead and switch and switch and switch. And then we're going to come into a minute of a cardio activity. So you can do whatever you want, whatever feels nice for you. The reason why I started with this is because I just want to show you that it's possible not to have a bounce type sensation uh, and get your heart rate up. Uh -huh. So a lot of my students go off and run the stairs. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, you can dance, you can do burpees, you can jog, you can, I don't know, do free form movement. Uh -huh. Love it. Loving seeing my students on my screen. Looking so good. Breathing. Uh-huh, looking, looking awesome, loving it. Various moves. Whew. Okay, now, because we've already fatigued some of the major muscle groups in your body, uh, notice if you're feeling your muscles quite a bit as you're going through this. Whatever version of cardio you are doing, and by the way, you don't have to uh, come into a super high heart rate um, if you want to, that, that's an option. But also, if, if you just, yeah, uh, we'll go for another little bit. Yeah, and she's off again. Uh, but if that heart rate is just slightly elevated uh, to the point of where it would be challenging to uh, whistle your favorite song, or it's just a little bit taxing to breathe, you're in that really magical fat burning zone. Whew. Yeah, so, so you don't need to uh, make it so you're huffing and puffing and breathing really hard. <laughs> Hello, Linda's husband passing through the screen. <laughs> Although certainly, again, if you want to get your heart rate up to that level, that's an option. Uh-huh, we'll go for just another little bit. Uh-huh. Breathing, loving it. Yep, loving the different variations. Yep, loving it. And uh, some of my students are working with their arms overhead. Again, that tends to elevate the heart rate. Woo! It's a little foggy in Southern California today. Uh, I love that. It's really cozy. And I can see on my screen that it's sunny in New Hampshire, that there are some beautiful fall colors starting to happen. Ooh, all right, guys, for three and two and one, and come to center. Good, notice if your muscles feel kind of pumped up with blood, that's an awesome thing. That, that's actually what happens when we, when we work them. For two and one and come back to center. That's the phrase pumped up. I don't know if you've ever heard that, but like that's kind of what bodybuilders do. All right, guys, nice job. From here, we'll take a step apart with those feet again, and we'll bend the knees, reaching that booty back in space. Reach those arms back in space. Uh-huh, let's lift one heel, lift the other heel, and lower and lift and lower and lift. Yeah, so we're really targeting those inner thighs, and then let's begin to lift and lower those arms, tiny range of motion, really squeezing those shoulder blades together and breathe. Yeah, looking so good. Woo. Can you lift those heels higher so that you're getting a balance challenge in this? Again, think drag queen stilettos. Actually, I said that cue to uh, somebody the other day who I suspect was a drag queen. <laughs> Uh, in his time when he was not in the Pilates studio. He was like, I love that cue. Uh, and I was like, cool, awesome. In my teacher training, I, there was uh, someone, this big tall guy, uh, who would, he was uh, a drag queen. And we were all, come in and see us in your drag queen costume. And he did. And he had these enormous uh, stilettos on. And he was already like over six feet. He was, uh, he was really quite, a, quite an impressive presence. All right, guys, for three, whoa, feeling this a lot, and two, and one. Oh my gosh, yeah, I know, I'm feeling it too. Swing those arms from side to side for two, and one. All right, guys, we're going to switch gears and take this down to the mat. So keep those dumbbells nearby. 
And let's come directly into a lying down position on the mat. All right, lying on the mat. Let's bend the knees, feet are flat. Open those arms to a T. Take a step apart with those feet. And just gently begin to swish those knees from side to side. <sighs> yep. Breathing. So I am recording live from Courtown Pilates and uh, a phone is ringing. So that's what you're hearing. <laughs> you're like, I know that's a phone. Yeah, just giving you an explanation of why you're hearing a phone. Woo, for three and two. And the next time those knees are over to the left, pause. All right, so just drop those knees over to the left. Your feet can be as far apart as you want them. The goal here is to just feel a nice stretch. So moving your body in a way that you feel a stretch that feels good for you. And then with those knees to the left, maybe look over to the right and breathe. For three. And two, and one, come back to center, and then drop those knees over to the right and give your body a chance to settle into the stretch. And notice how much space you have between your hip bone and that bottom rib. Notice how these sheaths of muscles in your waist area, which kind of fan inwards and down, uh, how they are stretching. And just enjoy that for two. And one, and come back to center. All right, guys, next, let's hug those knees into the chest, curling into a tiny little ball. Uh-huh, all right. And then let's kick one leg along, pull the opposite knee towards you. Let's bring that knee into a right angle. Exhale, and switch, and switch, and switch, and continue. Super classic old school Pilates here. If this is bothering your head or your neck, uh, you're welcome to um, lower that head down. Again, remember guys, just, just modify, no big deal. For, for many of my students who are, uh, uh, you know, over 40, uh, at this stage in the game, it's not worth it to uh, work through the pain. I don't want you to work through the pain. I want you to do something different so you're not in pain doesn't work to injure ourselves while, while we're striving to improve our uh, physical body. So just no big deal, just modify. Okay, for five, feeling this quite a bit in the lower abs and the thighs and four, yeah, looking so good. Exhaling as you pull a knee in towards you and three, uh-huh, and two, and one, come back to center, lower those feet, lower that head, and then just windshield wiper those knees from side to side. So we just worked the uh, oblique muscles uh, as well as a bunch of other muscles, but this uh, swishing those knees from side to side should be a really nice stretch again for those muscles at the waist that kind of fan in and down. For two and one, come back to center. Okay, guys, for this next sequence, I want the head to stay down flat the whole time. Knees bent, feet flat. Let's bring those hands in towards the hips, resting on the mat and pivot those palms, guys, so they're facing up. And then take an inhale as you exhale. Let's lift those hips. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift and continue. Okay, now you have options here, guys. You can articulate up and down, vertebrae by vertebrae or you can hinge where you lift and lower flat as a board. So uh, the uh, articulation kind of reminds me of a, the base of a rocking chair where you're coming up and down one vertebrae at a time. Whereas the hinging kind of reminds me of a teeter totter. Yeah, so whatever version feels best for you. Uh, frequently for anyone who has scoliosis, the uh, hinging feels better, uh, so. Either is fine. Giving those booty cheeks a good squeeze at the top. Uh-huh. And also squeezing them as they come down. <sighs> and also squeezing them as you go up. <laughs> In other words, squeezing that back body a whole bunch. For three and two and 
one, lower that booty all the way down. And then guys, let's again come into that hugging the knees position into the chest. Really good. And then let's open those elbows wide to the side, bringing the nose towards the knees and the knees towards the nose. I'm going to modify. If it feels good for you, you can begin to rock forwards and backwards all the way up such that your feet almost touch and roll back vertebrae by vertebrae and do it again. Yeah, uh-huh. So again, I'm clearly I'm modifying, I'm not doing this. Uh, but if it feels good for you, you can roll up and down your spine, hovering just before those feet touch. Mm -hmm. Yep, beautiful. Breathing, super classic old school Pilates. This is called rolling like a ball. And you guys look like balls. I see balls and buns, and you guys look really cute. Breathing for four and three. Nice job. And two. And the next time you're in the down position where your spine is down, pause. Good, all right, let's lace those fingertips behind the head. Mm -hmm. Keep those knees in tabletop. And then kick your right leg long, bring your right elbow to the left knee and switch and switch and switch and continue. You are breathing, yep. Try to imagine those elbows are repelled from each other as you're going from side to side. You guys continue, I am modifying and watching your, your beautiful, uh, exercises looking so good. If you're new to me, um, I have uh, different things going on with my back and sometimes it talks to me more than others. All right, looking so good for three and two and one. Come back to center, lower those feet down and lower that head down. Nice job. All right, guys, then let's press those palms into the mat. Uh, yeah, so this time our palms are facing down. Hey, cutie, hey. Navel is tucked to the spine, take an inhale, exhale, lift those hips. Press those arms into the mat, palms facing down. Use this as a little leverage to press that chest even higher. And then guys, let's come on to the tippy toes. On the tippy toes, let's open those knees and close, open and close, yep. Begin to imagine guys that it's super hard to squeeze those knees close. It is also super hard to open those knees. And again, notice how just in that intention that actually begins to happen and you're recruiting your muscles to a greater degree. Woo, and breathe, uh-huh, I know. Feeling it too. Going for that perky booty. Yeah, looking so good for four and three and two, woo, really? and one, pause, keep those hips lifted on those tippy toes, and then one knee in tabletop, put it down, other knee in tabletop, put it down, yep, you guys are looking amazing, breathing, remember we want to keep the head down, so if you want to take a look and see what we're doing, just lower that uh, booty first, hey, good to see you, hi, hey, I'm just watching you work out now. Okay, how do I look? You look uh, very fit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, breathing. So uh, my friend who is also a Pilates instructor is just walking by. Uh, okay, guys, looking so good for four and three, loving it, two and one, pause, both feet down, lower those heels and then lower that booty. Nice job. Take a step apart with those feet and windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Whew. For two and one and pause. Nice job, guys. Okay, from here, let's cross that right ankle over the left knee. There's a lot of space between your legs. <laughs> All right, and then let's do what we call thread the needle, one hand between the legs, the other hand on the outside of the thigh, grab onto that right leg. Yep, pull that right leg towards you. If you wish, you can straighten that right leg and then maybe begin to twirl those ankles. Uh-huh, looking good. <laughs> you guys look like twinkle toes. I'm just seeing toes twirling around. All right, and pause and then reverse the direction of those twirling toes. <sighs> For three and two and one, nice job. 
And then if that foot is lifted, let's lower it down. Uncross, cross the other ankle over the other knee. Thread the needle, grab onto that other thigh. Pull that knee towards you. Maybe straighten that leg and then maybe begin to twirl those ankles. And by the way, if this is bothering your neck, you can lie flat or you can do any other stretch. Woo, and breathe. All right, and let's reverse uh, the direction of those toes. Yeah, I'm really feeling this in that shin area on this side. For two and one, let's uncross and lower that head down. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, guys, from here, switching gears a little bit. Let's kick those legs out long in front of you. And if you'd like to, you come, you are welcome to come onto your elbows. You can also remain flat, either is fine. Come into your Pilates feet. Uh -huh, so that means the heels are touching, the toes are a little bit apart, and those feet look like a slice of pizza. Suck in your tummy a lot. Take an inhale as you exhale. Let's pull those heels in. Kick those legs long and do it again and continue. So those heels, guys, they're just lightly brushing the mat or the ground. Uh -huh. And in doing that, I want you to notice how you've really got these muscles in your midsection working. So let's begin to press the fingertips into that midsection. Really feel those guys working. Your core goes all the way around your spine, much like a corset, and you can use your mind-body connection to cinch that corset tighter. So do that. <laughs> if you're not sure how to do that, as you exhale, blow it out loudly. And in doing so, notice how you're feeling those muscles recruit. So that's, that's a good way to automatically recruit those muscles. For three, and two, and the next time those knees are in pause. Let's bring the soles of the feet together and gently rock from side to side, just feeling that terrific stretch in that inner thigh area. And that booty massage for two and one and pause. All right, guys, let's lift one knee into an externally rotated tabletop, lift the other knee into an externally rotated tabletop and bring the soles of the feet together. And then keeping the soles of the feet together, let's reach those feet up and out and in and do it again. Yeah, hollowing out that belly, navel tucked to the spine. Again, it's totally fine to do this lying flat. And those of you who have been with me in the studio, this might remind you of an exercise that we uh, do with feet and straps called Ferris wheel. All right, and pause and let's reverse the direction of that twirling Ferris wheel. Uh -huh, looking good. Woo, for three and two and one. Bring those heels in towards the tush and pause, come into that Pilates V. Straighten your right leg out, bend it in, straighten that left leg out and continue. Woo, yeah. Feeling that really nice stretch, feeling that work. For three and two. And the next time both heels are in pause. All right, guys, we're going to switch this up a little bit. So let's kick those legs out long and then one leg out to the side, one knee uh, in that uh, externally rotated tabletop, both legs long and switch and switch and continue. I'm actually going to continue with the earlier version, but if it feels good for you to continue with this version, you're welcome to. This is like stag or Peter Panning, also another move that we frequently do with feet and straps. Ooh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a reformer, which is this piece of equipment right there. All right, guys, for three and two and one and come to center and lower those feet down and then gently rock from side to side. Again, feeling that booty massage, feeling that terrific stretch on the inner thighs. Ah, yeah, it feels really good. For two and one and come to center. All right, guys, let's lower that uh, head down and you can have your head flat or you can come into a crunch position with your head, neck and torso. And then kicking both legs long, take an inhale. As you exhale, let's hover that left leg uh -huh, just about a foot like one of your feet. Um, yeah, okay. And then let's wag that foot from side to side. And breathe again, you can maintain that crunch or lie your head flat. 
whichever feels best for you. Ooh, feeling that inner thigh, feeling that outer thigh. We've already worked the inner thighs today, so they are probably talking to you quite loudly, letting their presence be known. Ooh, for four and three and two, and then pause, and then let's make tiny circles with that leg. Ooh, <laughs> did I mention? Ooh. Uh-huh, and then notice the direction of those circles and pause and reverse the direction of those circles. Woo, for three and two and one and pause, lower that foot down, good. And then let's just uh, shimmy those toes from side to side, taking a moment of active rest, enjoying a little booty massage and come back to center all right guys then let's take the other leg and we'll lift it just about a foot in space yep you got it and then we'll lift and lower and lift and lower and then the next time that leg is lifted pause wag it from side to side again try to notice if your hips or your pelvis are shifting around and if so try to prevent that yeah, and you get points for trying, by the way, even if, if you're still feeling those hips rocking from side to side, but you're trying to prevent that, good job. Uh -huh. In fact, I can feel mine rocking from side to side, but I'm trying to prevent it, so I get points too. And then pause, and then let's begin to take that leg, make little tiny circles. Again, trying just to move the head of the femur in the hip socket. Well, everything else is absolutely still, again, which is hard. <laughs> so just do your best. That's one cool thing about Pilates. No one does it perfect. Ooh, and pause, and then reverse the direction of those circles. Ooh. Yeah, looking so good. Feeling those inner thighs, feeling those outer thighs. Quite a bit. Ooh, for two, and one, and lower down. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's uh, uh, bring those feet so they're parallel and just again, shimmy from side to side. <sighs> just enjoying that movement and that different plane of motion. You can press your booty into the mat and slightly bend your knees. And notice how you're getting a really terrific massage on those muscles back there. You are welcome. For two and one and pause. All right, guys, let's bend those knees in towards the chest, hug those knees in towards the chest, gently rock from side to side. If you wish, you can uh, lift that head, neck, and torso or keep it flat. Good. As you're rocking from side to side, guys, begin to separate those knees a lot. Yeah, kind of as much as you can, actually. And then pause, keep those knees super separated. And then let's take the uh, lower legs and lift them in space. Reach up, grab onto your ankles, your calves, or maybe your feet. And then if you wish, you can lower that head down, pulling the knees to the armpits and gently rock from side to side if that feels nice for you. Yeah, just feeling that really terrific stretch in that inner groin area. Woo, for three and two and one. And then guys, let's fold the soles of the feet together. Uh-huh, knees open wide, yep. And then in this position, maybe begin to rock forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards, much like rolling like a ball. Uh-huh, yep, and continue, beautiful, looking so good. Coming up to the point where those feet almost touch, but not quite, yeah, looking good, loving it. For three, uh-huh, and to a sort of a modified version of an exercise we call seal, and one, and let's come all the way up to a seated position. Nice job. Again, hold on to those ankles, and we'll uh, butterfly those knees. <sighs> For two, and one, and pause. All right, guys, then let's place those arms back behind. I am going to come on to what we call a uh, gorilla fist. That is where the uh, you're on a fist instead of having that wrist bent. Uh, if you have, in other words, having the palms down, which causes the wrists to be bent. If you do have your palms down, that's totally fine. You can have those fingers away from you to the side or towards you, either is fine. You can also do the sequence on your elbows. 
Uh, for that matter, you can also do this uh, lying flat. All right, guys, and then from here, take an inhale as you exhale. Let's lift those hips coming into that reverse tabletop. Okay, and again, you can totally do this uh, lying flat. Uh, just keep your head down if you do that and come into a bridge. You can do that whole sequence. Okay, and then let's come on to those tippy toes. And in fact, we did do this in a bridge. So we're going to do it again in a reverse tabletop. Open and close, open and close. Try to get that uh, head in line with your spine. Uh, so you're not uh, shifting your gaze super far forward, nor is that head hanging in space. It's just kind of neutral. Another way to cue that is there are no wrinkles in the neck. Uh -huh. You are breathing. Begin to imagine it is super hard to open those knees and super hard to close those knees. And again, notice how that becomes a fact. Yep, beautiful, loving it. I'm seeing a lot of variations. I appreciate everyone taking care of your body for four and three, Woo! and two, and one, knees together, and then just squeeze, 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 uh -huh. for three, and two, and one, and then have a seat. Nice job, guys. Next, let's kick those legs out long in front of us, reach those fingertips forward, and then reach those fingertips forward, bringing your torso down towards your chest, coming into a forward fold, uh -huh, which I am uh, not doing, uh, but you guys are. And for most people, this stretch feels amazing and just enjoy that for two and one, and then stack your spine, vertebrae upon vertebrae. Good, we'll do it again. Reach those fingertips forward. While you're reaching those uh, fingertips forward, guys, imagine that someone socked you in the belly so you're kind of rounding your navel away from your toes and you're reaching forward and pulling those shoulders away from the ear. So it's kind of an interesting shape in your spine and then roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice job. Okay, guys, then let's open those legs wide. Arms forward, pivot towards your left toes. Reach those fingertips towards the left toes. Come up to center, super straight spine, pivot over to the right and reach forward and come up and pivot to the left and continue alternating from side to side. Yeah, looking really good. You are breathing, hollowing out that belly, feeling that side body stretch. Uh-huh, really good for three and two and one and come back to center. All right, guys, from here, I want you to take your uh, right heel and bring it in towards your left thigh and then take your left leg and pivot it around. So your uh, lower body is kind of in a right angle. So if you were to take this leg and this leg, they're sort of in a right angle. All right, guys. And then from here, let's walk those fingertips forward, coming into a yummy forward fold stretch in this position. You can come down to your elbows if you wish, or you can, uh, yeah, I think some of you have your torso flat on the mat. That is not available for me, but uh, just enjoy this stretch for three and two and one, and then walk yourself back up. Good. And then guys, I want you to pivot away from your right knee. Mm -hmm. And then in this position, let's walk for, yeah. So your, uh, the, the right knee is uh, out towards the right. So we want to walk over that one to the side. Yeah, I can see a little confusion with which knee. Yeah, perfect. And then let's lower down, maybe coming down to those elbows, maybe uh, bringing that torso as far down as feels good for you. Breathing for three and two and one. Let's keep that right hand down onto the mat. You can scoot it in a little bit. Take that left arm up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale, exhale, lift those hips, reach that left arm up and around. Just enjoying this side body stretch. Wow, it feels really good, doesn't it? For three and two. All right, guys, listen for the change. Let's take that left hand, put it down on the mat by the right hand and pivot so you're on all fours. Yeah, so that was kind of a tricky transition. Looking good. So basically you're on a quadruped position. Let's kick, 
get that left leg out behind you. Good. And then let's wag it from side to side. We've done this in a few different positions. Again, targeting those inner thighs and that the outer thighs. And then if you want more, maybe reach that whoop, right arm long, adding in that balance challenge. Woo. For three and two and one, lower that hand down and that knee down. Nice job. And then let's kick the other leg straight out behind. Begin to wag from side to side. Uh-huh. Looking good. Notice if that booty is also wagging. And if it is, notice what happens if you try to prevent that. You'll feel this in the inner and outer thighs to a greater degree. And then finally, ah! Maybe add in that balance challenge, reaching the opposite arm forward. Woo. And breathe for four, looking good. And three, and two, and one, and come back to center. Let's open those knees a lot. Reach that booty back towards the heels. Walk those hands forward, maybe bringing that face down towards the mat. Woo. Walking those fingertips as far away from you as possible, spreading those fingertips out as much as possible, and just enjoy this stretch. And breathe for three, and two, and one, and then shift yourself forward. All right, guys, from here, let's tuck those toes underneath you and come into an inverted V position. <sighs> Melting those heels down, trying to create a bunch of space between the ears and the shoulders. Oh, this feels really good. And breathe for three and two. All right, guys, let's take that right leg straight up to the ceiling. Those right toes are down towards uh, uh, flex down towards the ground rather. And then let's bend and straighten and bend and straighten that right leg. I think I just cued the left toes are down. Anyways, um, the, the toes of the leg moving through space are uh, down towards the ground, even though the leg is high. All right, guys, the next time that knee is bent, pause. And then pivot those hips to the right, bringing that right heel over to the left behind you. Just feeling that terrific stretch for three and two and one. Come back to center and lower that right foot down. And then guys, let's take that left leg up towards the ceiling. Again, those toes are pivoted down towards the ground. Oh, feeling that terrific stretch. And then let's bend and straighten that left knee. Keeping that knee high in space, by the way. So it's like we're kicking the tush. Woo, for two. And the next time that knee is bent, pause. And then slightly shift those hips to the left, bringing that left knee, or sorry, that left foot over to the right behind you. Feeling that bit of spinal rotation, looking good. I can see you guys in the mirror, although you're upside down, but I can tell you look awesome. And breathe for three and two and one. Pivot back to center, lower that foot down. And then guys, let's lower those knees down. Good job, coming back to an all fours position. Okay guys, and then from here, let's, however you want to get there, we're going to bring that left knee out to the left. That right knee is at the sole of the left foot. Uh-huh. And now we've got our left knee out to the left. Okay, beautiful. So from here, let's walk those hands forward, bringing your chest and your face down towards the mat. Uh-huh. Enjoying your end range of motion which for most people is much greater than my end range of motion. Sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm a Pilates instructor. I should have much more flexibility in my spine. But the good news is, is I'm a Pilates instructor. And if I didn't do Pilates, I would be a disaster. So always looking to the positive. 
All right, guys. And then walk yourself back up to center. And then let's pivot those hands over to the left. Yeah, you got it. And let's walk ourselves out, bringing that torso down towards the mat, if that feels nice for you. Mm -hmm. And breathe. Woo. Yeah, so you can walk those hands as far away from you as feels good for you. For three and two and one. And then let's walk ourselves back up. And then guys, we'll keep that left hand down. I'm gonna come onto a gorilla fist. Lift those hips, take that right arm up and over, just enjoying that stretch. Yeah, so um, back to the topic of my back. I Back to, back to the back. <laughs> At any rate, I used to have to wear a back brace uh, quite frequently. And uh, I rarely need to wear a back brace. So, so that's good. So we always have our own starting points based on what we can do. And in the grand scheme, I'm doing pretty good. For three and two and one and come back to center. Ah, really nice job, guys. Okay, from here, we'll pivot back over onto all fours. And then we'll drop that belly button down towards the mat, sticking that booty out. And then imagine that someone's pulling on your belt and your bra strap, lifting up towards the ceiling, pressing into the thumb and the forefinger, shifting that gaze down towards the knees, and then drop that belly down. Yeah, shifting that gaze slightly forward. Also, you can energetically pull your, uh, your hands towards your knees. They're not going to move, but in that energetic Oh, isometric contraction, you'll get a little leverage for uh, coming into the stretch deeper. And then let's curl that spine again up towards the ceiling, shifting our gaze down for three and two and one, and then tuck those toes underneath you guys. Uh huh. And take an inhale as you exhale, let's lift those hips back into that inverted V position. And then this time, if you wish, you can wag your tail. You can pedal those knees. Just make this meaningful for you. For three and two and one. And then, guys, shift your weight forward. And you can hop those feet forward, or you can walk those hands towards your feet, or you can step those feet forward. I'm going to step forward. Find yourself in a forward fold. Let's grab opposite elbows with those hands, gently swish and sway from side to side. Oh, enjoying this final stretch. And then release those arms, softness in the knees, head is heavy. Roll up vertebrae, five vertebrae. Oh, coming all the way up to the top. Beautiful work, guys. When you get to the top, let's bring those shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down. One more time, up, back, and down, and walk into your Wednesday with your awesome posture. If you're with me on YouTube, please like, comment nicely, and subscribe, and I will see you guys Friday for Foam Roll Friday. Yay!